Hi, I'm Nerd Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, jump off the cliff <laughs> and use the animation that we download from Mixamo. So, without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, I want to thank my Patreon supporter. They helped me a lot. They helped me to create all of this video. And second, please hit that like button for me. Thank you very much. So, <clears throat> you remember in last video, we, we created... We use some IK rig and IK retargeter to retarget our animation that we download from Mixamo and we retarget that root animation. So now we have some root animation and we did talk about root animation. You need root, that root animation uh, in a lot of cases, in a lot of animations. Okay, I want to close all of these. We don't need them. So right now, if we play our game, you can see in here when we jump, it will be like this. It will jump. But when we are at this cliff, we want to jump, right? In this case, because at, we are at this cliff, we want to jump forward, okay? Use a jump animation that we download from Mixamo, not just this jump right we don't we don't want that right so for doing that let me first show you the animation for that if i go here and search for jump okay and this is our jump you can see it's jump off of the cliff right so make sure that you retarget it like i told you to retarget it so with that we have root animation so if i go to character go to bones and all hierarchy you can see there there is some motion to the root so when the root is moving it it's called root motion right so you can see the root is moving right now this top bone is called always root the top bone in here right so we have this animation we should right click on it and create a anime montage from it i did create that and just make sure in your animation you click this enable root motion okay save it and after that create a anime montage okay if i open this anime montage let me show you what i am in here you can see if i go to a slot manager i did create another slot i call it jump down if you don't know about the slots and how they work please watch my video about and in montages i did talk about it so we create just an, a slot and put it in here just set it in here okay right now it's selected so i can use this anime montage if i open my let me show you my animation blueprint you can see i just used that a slot before the output post because i wanted this anime montage to override whatever that is in the left of that right so this is our jump this animation this jump animation will happen at the end and it will override everything so now with that we want to go to our character in jump okay and in this jump instead of just using jump i want to use um another animation for for when we are at at a cliff right so we can just say play montage okay and with that we can select the montage for example this one right and with that if i drag and drop my mesh to here everything should compile and work no if i go to our game if i hit the space it will it will and jump off that cliff right it works fine so i want to use that animation but not always at default i want to just jump but when we uh, at a cliff we want to jump forward like the animation that we found in mixamo right so for doing that whenever we hit jump on our keyboard we want to check if we are at the cliff so how i want to do it first I want to check the position that our feet is on right right now is in here right and for example i want to check it 50 unit further so i want to check if we are at the cliff run that animation and if we are not at the cliff run the default animation right so for doing that i want to use capsule trace by channel okay i want to use this one and it need an start and end for the start i want to get the actor location get actor 
location okay and for the end the end of this trace that we want to check i want to minus this one like this subtracted with something big like 5000 right and this is for the end and for trace channel i want it to be visible and for draw debug i want to have some debug for a duration right so with that everything set let's just compile and whenever we hit a space you can see this uh, trace that it detects whatever that is beneath us right now it's ground right so we have that let's just so I want to put it on a variable, that location that we hit on the ground, this location that it hit on the ground. Let me show you again. This location at the bottom of our character that you can see, right? So for doing that, right click in here and split the struct pin and we need this out hit location, okay? And with that, we can promote it to a variable and I want to call it, let me show you current position okay or whatever you want to call it and after that i want to check a little bit forward than our character for doing that again i want to use something like this so let's just copy and paste that and in here let's just put it here connect this execution pin to here and we need a start and end so for the start i want to use get actor location again location and with that we need get forward vector and with that let's just bring this out a little bit we want to see a little bit forward of our character if the z of that or height of that is um, less than current position or not right so for that i want to multiply this get forward vector multiply it by how much you want to go forward to check okay forward in front of our character how much we want to go forward in this case i want to use 80 for all of them okay and after that let's just add it to our actor location so let's just say add and it should be operator right so let's just add them together and this is our start no for the end for the end we want to check uh, let's say i'm the character right the default position is uh, where my foot is right and my i want to check if there is a cliff in front of me right and for checking that i will get the forward vector that is this and multiply it so it go forward and add it to my location so it will be some somewhere like here right this is the start point and we want to check the ground beneath it how much distance is between this and the ground beneath it so we need to um, subtract some uh, z value from this um, location to the ground right so for doing that we can use this and subtract it okay by again something like 5000 okay so after that we can use it for the end you don't need to do anything else but this uh we need this out hit location it always hits something right so let's just promote it to a variable and i want to call it in front of character position of course it's not a good name but let's just leave it that right so now we have this let's just compile and see when we hit a space you can see there is two trace line and it check if there is a cliff right so you can get the z value of both of them now i want to get this current and this in front of our character location okay I want to get both of them let's just zoom in a little bit and right click on both of them split the struct pin again in here split the struct pin and we want to check the z of that okay so the z the height of my location and the height of the um, location that is in front of the character right so i want to use this z position and check if it's less than the z position of our current position we want to give it to to a branch and let's just connect this execution pin to here 
and we want to check that if it's true so there is a cliff in front of us right so in this case play montage right so play this montage the montage is this jumping down and everything cool with that we need a skeletal mesh so let's just give it this okay like this and if it's false if there is no cliff in front of us we can just jump okay that's it so if we compile and run no you can see because there is a cliff in front of us if we hit the space it will play this animation but right now because there is no cliff in front of us it will do the default jump you can see right and that was it guys for this video i hope you like it and you learn something from it please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button it helps me a lot thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye